All right. <clears throat> well, good morning or afternoon, everybody. My name is Kurt Anderson. I'm an English major, creative writing minor, and I'm talking about collaboration and drafting to make an ebook um, as my applied English experience. Um, I was able to uh, participate in a class where we um, we decided that our final project was was not going to be the same as a traditional kind of classroom. Here is a uh, traditional classroom learning. Uh, college never changes. Um, you've got the professor up there on his high lectern with his turban uh, teaching. And um, I usually have to deal with research writing and creative writing. Research writing being any kind of different research paper, persuasive paper. Creative writing being more poetry, short stories, and essays. Um, however, in the class that I uh, took in past semesters, there was a new challenge of writing an ebook as the, uh, the goal of the class and the outcome. That was the sole goal and outcome. We had no other papers or assignments to do. Now, when I first uh, learned about this in this class, I began to panic. I thought, how do I write this? How do I research this? This doesn't fit into my normal, uh, my normal frame work for doing classwork. And so I, I wondered how I was going to connect with Renaissance themes, since it was an English class uh, about the, the English Renaissance, 1500 to 1600, and, and bring them to some kind of modern audience through an ebook. Um, it felt like it was a mixing of old and new, like I had to somehow talk about skyscrapers and ancient architecture, flying buttresses and Gothic arches. It felt unnatural and, and quite difficult. Um, but what I came to realize is that there's a synthesis of the old with the new, that the principles of, of the Renaissance and of literature in those days still apply today, just as principles of architecture still apply in new buildings. So we began to work um, through the, uh, the publishing website LeanPub, which is a free website where anybody can create their own um, ebook. Ours was called eRenaissance, hosted by Gideon Burton. And I was able to start up my own little page there. And um, it's, it's a very easy to use um, system where you simply upload a very basic text format and you can create your own ebook. Um, united we stand divided we fall. We were not writing alone. We were all writing collaboratively as peers on one book. So although we each wrote different chapters, we had to adapt to each other's writing styles and formats. My topics were virtually new worlds and contemporary crafts and digital culture, um, exploring how uh, virtual worlds such as in games are uh, a new frontier today and how digital culture is bringing back crafts like blacksmithing. I met Tom, this blacksmith, when I was on a study abroad in England, and he was very helpful in discussing this mix of old and new. And studying history abroad helped me to learn about how Renaissance ideas such as the uh, masquerade balls apply today. Other themes and connections were printing culture and fan fiction, um, humanism and wanderlust. Each of us in the class were able to engage with some Renaissance theme and bring it into present day applicability. However, the Gordian knot was the fact that we were all different writers, and none of us had written a book together before. We wrote our first draft together, and it was horrible. The formatting was all off, all of our citations were different, and so we found out that the way to cut through this Gordian knot was iterative writing, or drafting. We made a concerted effort together to write and publish an ebook every single week. And that was what led to our success. We went through about five or six iterations of this ebook before we got it to its finished format at the end of the semester. And the greatest thing is, it was a finished book. It was not just an assignment that we had completed for the class. We had to use project management um, ideals with, with peers. We had to initiate, plan, and design in our classes, execute on our own, and then repeat that cycle before we could close with the final working product. There are new avenues for publishing and the dissemination of ideas. Ebooks are able to be created by anybody. If you just put in enough effort, you do the work, you research, and you collaborate with other people. And so I was able to find out that not only could I create this uh, e-Renaissance book with the help of my peers 
and Dr. Burton. Well, I could create any book about any kind of research that I would like in the future, and I know that we all can as English majors and majors in any field. Thank you.